I uploaded a new Unity solution to the website. It's a basic interaction system that allows a first-person character to detect interactive elements on the stage. When the character is at a certain distance and looks at them, he can activate these elements and trigger actions. In the description, I leave the article where you can download this solution. It's a Unity package that contains all the scripts of the interaction system and a simple scene to show you how to use it. Here I have the scene opened and we can see the files. So the solution is basically these three scripts. Check interaction, eye action and interaction receiver. These scripts here do not solve any particular action. So if you want to open doors, call elevators, collect objects, interact with some character, activate the cinematic or change the scene, you have to program those actions separately. Inside the package I provide two examples of actions. One is to open the gate and the other is to change the color of the button. We'll see them later. The script check interaction will be assigned to the first person controller, for example the standard assets prefab. In the inspector we must assign the camera that we are using for the first person perspective to the check interaction component. This allows us to cast a ray from the center of the camera in a frontal direction and know what the character is observing. Then the interaction receiver script will be assigned to all the interactive objects of the scenario, for example buttons, levers, NPCs, collectible objects, any object that can be activated for example by pressing the E key will have the interaction receiver script assigned to it. The iAction script is a programming interface that has to be implemented by the scripts that solve our actions, we'll also see that later. In this example, we have a 3D button that the character can activate and when he does it, two things will happen. The first is that the gate will open or close and the second is that the button will change color. These two actions are solved by the gate and switch scripts respectively. We select the button and in the inspector see that we have two scripts assigned. One is the interaction receiver, because this is an object that the character can activate, but we also have the script switch, because this same object performs an action when activated, which is to change color. Then in the gate object we have the gate script assigned, which is going to solve the behavior of the gate. In the interaction receiver component we have a vector of game objects called object with actions. In it we have to place all the objects that have actions assigned. In this case we have two actions that are in two separated game objects. So I set the size of the vector in two and drag the button and the gate game objects to the fields that appear. The interaction receiver also has a field that allows us to add a text if we want a message to be shown on the screen, for example when looking at an interactive object. Now let's see how to create an action so that it can be incorporated into this system. We start by creating a new script, for example a switch or gate script, and we have to implement the iAction interface. We do this in the class definition to the right of mono behavior, write comma iAction. We're not gonna see the theory behind programming interfaces, but basically, when implementing this interface iAction, we're going to be required to define a method called activate within this class. This method is going to be executed when an interaction receiver is activated. Then, within activate, we're gonna do everything necessary to perform the action. For the button, as it's necessary to change it between one color or another depending on its state, the action is solved within the same activate method. But for the gate, since it's necessary to open or close it gradually, in the activate method I change the value of a boolean variable and in the fix update method, depending on that state, I apply the proper transformation to open or close it gradually. This is called polymorphism. The interaction receiver, what it's going to do is take a bunch of objects that may not have many things in common, like a switch or a gate, but what they do have in common is that they have actions assigned to them that can be activated. So, the receiver will execute the activate method on all these objects, and then each object in particular will solve the action in its own way. Beautiful. Ta -ta so this is the solution, I hope you like it and that you find it useful. In the description I leave the link to my website where you can download this and find more information. Subscribe to get the notification when I upload something new. If you want we can follow each other on Instagram since I'm also uploading all the videos there. And see you in the next video. Bye!